So you installed the custom OS on your Android device and you're looking to get back to the stock OS. Maybe you're getting ready to sell it, which makes it a little bit easier when the stock OS is installed. Or maybe you just don't like the custom OS you put on there. So in today's video, I'll show you how to do that step by step. But quick disclaimer before we begin, this process will completely erase your device. So please back up anything you want to keep. So to actually flash our phone, we're gonna be using the official Android flash tool. You can access that at flash.android.com. I will leave a link down below in the description with these links if you don't wanna type them out yourself. And on the screen here, you can also see my Pixel 6 running Graphene OS. That's the OS we're going to be erasing and installing the default version of Android back on the phone. So for this video, I'm demonstrating this from a Mac OS computer, but you should be able to use a Windows or Linux computer with a supported browser. When it comes to supported browsers, Firefox is not supported, so you will need to use Chromium or Chrome. And if you're on Ubuntu, the default Chromium that ships with Ubuntu is broken. So you need to either download it manually or just install Chrome and use that instead. So once you're on flash.android.com, go ahead and click get started. You will see this pop-up box where you need to grant access to ADB keys. If you wanna know why, click this and read that. Otherwise, just click allow ADB access. So the first thing we need to do is enable developer mode and OEM unlocking on our device. So on the phone to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking, we're going to swipe up Go into settings, go to about phone, scroll all the way down to the bottom, tap build number until you see you are now a developer. Once you see that, hit the back button, system, developer options, scroll down to OEM unlocking, enable that, click enable. We are now ready to go into the next step, which is plugging our device into the computer. I'm actually gonna be switching my camera to the phone screen because screen recording is not supported in the next steps. So as I mentioned, the next step is to plug in your device. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the USB cable. One quick thing some other commenters have reported in the past, if you do encounter any issues in this process, the first thing you should do is try changing to a different USB cable. There's been times where it might show that the phone's connected, but really the cable has something wrong with it. So try switching cables, see if it works, and go from there. So now that the phone is connected, we're gonna go ahead and click on add new device. You should see your phone listed here. Whatever it is, Pixel 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Click connect. We now see our device. Click on select device. So we can see here one thing I forgot to enable was USB debugging because I didn't read the instructions apparently. So to enable that, we're going to select settings, system, developer options, scroll down, and here is USB debugging. Enable that. Quick warning on the screen, click OK. And now that that has been completed, we can click Add Device again. Select your phone again, click Connect. Connecting, off pending. You should see this warning on your screen. Select Always Allow, click Allow. And our phone is connected. So go ahead and select that. So now that our phone has been successfully connected, you have a few options here of what you can do next. You can search for a build that you want to install. I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm going to do the back to public. We can see here, this is going to be Android 12, which is the current version for this device, the Pixel 6, the January 2022 security patch. But this will vary depending on which phone you are trying to flash. So once you have the correct version selected that you want to install, go ahead and select install build. Like I warned earlier, this will factory reset and erase all data. Do not touch the phone while it's completing this process, otherwise you could mess it up. And do not unplug your device. There's also some more warnings down here. Go ahead and give those a read over. I'm gonna go ahead and click confirm. Like everything in life, you need to agree to something, so I accept. And over here, we're gonna see the current status, preparing your device in progress. This entire process is pretty seamless and automated, so just sit back, relax, and watch the circle spin. So the screen did prompt us to do something. To continue, reselect your device from the browser menu. Okay, reselect device. Gonna select it again, click connect. So the next part is to actually unlock the bootloader. It is locked as it should be. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and click start. You will see your phone screen change a bit like this. The current selection says do not unlock the bootloader. Hit the volume up or down. 
you should see a change to unlock the bootloader. Select the power button to complete that. We can now see bootloader device state unlocked and the process will now continue. At this point, it's currently downloading the OS that it's going to flash to our device. This time will vary depending on your internet speed. Apparently mine is insanely slow today. According to Comcast, I have gigabit down. Uh, this is not gigabit down. So once the download completes, the actual install begins. So at this point, the install process has completed and similarly to how we unlocked the bootloader earlier, we now need to lock the bootloader. So I'm actually recording this part after I finish the rest of the video already. The reason being is that I forgot one step. So the original OS that I was installing the stock OS over was Graphene OS. And with that, there's one extra step that you need to do. And that is removing the non-stock key that is installed when you initially install Graphene OS. So to do that, we're going to go on the grapheneos.org web install site and at the very bottom there's a button for remove non-stock key it's important you do this before the bootloader is locked otherwise you can't do it so what we do is go ahead and click remove non-stock key you should see a key erased and we are ready to proceed go ahead and click start the screen will change again press the volume up or down once you see lock the bootloader press the power button to select it And go ahead and click done on the screen and we can now unplug our device and as we can see here the default google os is now starting so at this point if you just wanted the default google os for yourself you can go ahead and set it up if you are selling your phone you are ready to ship it out